This is Darren Hunter and in 2013 we are going to be conducting fee update seminars in every major city across Australia and New Zealand. And to do that we call hundreds of property management departments and get their fees. On the phone we have our secret shopper and for the sake of the interview we'll call her Julie. Now you've called hundreds of property managers already in the last year getting their fee information. What are some standout situations for you? Firstly, I would say property management team leaders who can't take the call or who are out of the office has been something which has been very, very common. To be fair on the situation, I mean, property managers and even business development managers aren't always in the office and available. How many of those perhaps didn't get back to you? Probably 80, 90 percent don't get back to you at all. And it's amazing, isn't it? Because people out there are crying out for more rent roll growth and not even getting back to, to potential clients it is certainly a worry. What are some other things? I think for me, the property managers who say to me, we will, do, will not discuss our fees over the telephone. And yet they will email me a very detailed list of all of their fees, uh, which I, I find is, well, quite amusing, really. Uh, so how many property managers actually refuse to discuss fees? Percentage-wise, I would say maybe 20%. Okay, well, that's certainly a big number. And I think it's certainly a good practice if people don't wish to you know, give their fees. You, you did mention before, however, in our conversation that you've got some tips there for people that do not wish to give their fees. What, what do you perhaps feel is a better approach? I mean, as a customer, <laughs> as you may, because obviously I'm ringing it as a client or a potential client. And after having done this for about a year, from my experience, I would say the best thing that a property management department could do would be to make sure that they had the rules firmly established as to what information that they wanted to share regarding their fees over the phone or what information they wanted to share regarding their fees at all. And once they've got this firmly established and, they, and they're comfortable with that, then perhaps speaking to the client, listening very carefully to what it is that they want, and then they could answer the questions without disclosing information that they would rather not disclose over the telephone and yet still make the client feel listened to, valued and give them something that's going to make them want to come back and want to speak with the property management department. So is it fair to say that you were offended in some of those calls? Oh, most definitely. There, there was several that I would never have done business with. You also had an unusual situation happen in Sydney. What happened there? I have to say that day, I don't think I've laughed so hard. I rang that day perhaps 20 property management um, departments and the first three that I spoke to said, do not buy your investment property in Sydney. By the end of the day, I had at least another three say the same thing to me. Finally, what's your biggest tip for property managers out there looking at getting business and speaking to potential clients on the phone? I would say the biggest lesson is listen. You must listen to the person on the other end of the phone. It is important to know why they called. It is important to know what it is that they want and to give them at least some information. Now, if you're not willing to give them their, your fees, that's fine. But know what it is that you're prepared to say about your fees and give the person on the other end of the telephone your attention, make them feel listened to and give them some information that will make them want to come back. So you're saying there's some people that just didn't listen? Um, I actually had some lovely people, really nice people who were so enamored by their own achievements that all they could possibly do was talk about themselves. And I will venture to say that they had no idea why I called. Well, Julie, thanks for your time, and uh, we're certainly looking forward to getting all of that information so we can present a fee update seminar around Australasia. Thank you.